air conditioning or seasoning on food? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no air conditioning in the car, in the house, nothing. <laughs> or is all your food bland? Warning. You're about to embark on an adventure of epic proportions. Buckle up, bucko. You're now tuned in to The Epic Show. With your hosts, Gabe and Dave. Coming to you live from The Epic Center. Welcome back, guys. Excuse him. Excuse him, Don't morning. Don't me, I'm just... Uh, Eating my checks mix here. Uh, probably, I think it's a critically acclaimed, the best chip, actually. On no uh, basis, on no basis has that 20, ever been said. I think said. it was the 2022 Chip Awards. It was mm. actually. The Chippies? Um, yeah. It was uh, It was a Chex Mix, and then it was Chex Mix Cheddar was number two, actually. And then. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. So where did you pull? Have you heard the bagel chips back? <laughs> Have you heard this theory about the bagel chip being? Have you heard back? the bagel chip theory? <laughs> good morning, you... good night, and afternoon, everyone. Yes, or whatever you're, you're joining us. Province you're in right now. Um. <laughs> province, <laughs> province theory. <laughs> Whichever uh, land or lack thereof land you're inhabiting. Sometimes there's too much land. Yeah, if, some people. I think, but not when you're that. landing. Yeah, if your name's Landon. And you're listening? Oh, I meant like landing a plane, <laughs> but. <laughs> your name's Landon, and you're currently listening to this while landing on a plane. On a plane? Then land then is Then you just good. won an you all just... spent <laughs> trip to the Bahamas. Because I think the odds of that. <laughs> the yeah, odds would be crazy. Yeah, there's that. no way. There's Because actually... your phone should be off. Yeah, come on, man. I Unless you're like so big, like ready to listen to a podcast. You're like, okay, we're descending. I can turn airplane mode off. And you're just like, <laughs> epic show. <laughs> Or uh, maybe if you downloaded it. Yeah, you can download it. Yeah, that's true. Eh. No, <laughs> no, that would never happen. But, um, well, speak for yourself. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, guys. You and know. also, I just want to let everyone know that whoever's hexing me, it's working. Hexing? Hexing. Oh, you still getting hexed? Yeah, I'm still getting hexed Ooh. because my week was terrible. And then I also found out get ready to clap. Yeah. I have psoriasis. <laughs> and clap. Yeah. But depending on who is listening. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's you, doing it, it's working. Well, how'd you find you had psoriasis? I was told. By the internet? Or like No, by like a at home medical specialist. Oh, like a person? That was Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> That's just she a person. She knows yeah. a lot about rashes, I would think. Okay. She's a woman. So yeah, I guess women know about it. She told me it looked like psoriasis, and then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I got. Oh. Yeah. Well, me and Gabe have both been suffering from an intense pit rash for probably about six weeks. <laughs> oh, God. Or more. It's really bad. Like, <laughs> my armpits, if you guys could see my armpits now, they're inflamed. <laughs> they're inflamed. And Arnold, uh, pull up the picture. Yeah. There's nobody back there, but. <laughs> no, it's it's, like, itchy. And inflamed, yep. and it's honestly, it's such an issue. <laughs> it's like reminding me that yeah, I have right. pain right it now. And I don't know why, but we got it at the same time. We both have sensitive armpits. And, <laughs> dude, if you guys saw my bathroom counter right now, I have probably 11. Tried every deodorant. Deodorant. man. <laughs> Just all of them intense pain. I spent, like, over $60 this month on deodorants. <laughs> like, just The other day, like, I got back from the gym, and I guess that, like, Reopen the, the wounds friction, or something. The friction yeah. is what gets it. And then I took a hot shower, and then it's just like I put it under there. I was like, it, st <laughs> it stings. Like it bad. stings. Like well, who? Why? Well, the highlight of my week, the highlight of my week was definitely the other day on St. Patrick's Day, and I saw I had a bunch of people. <laughs> David never gets people that recognize Dude, him like, from the internet, but every time I go into a large public space, I'm like, come on. Like, Day Somebody, day. like, I just want to experience that. One. I actually, I, I truly think that every time, almost every time I leave the house, I get recognized. No. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, you're, yeah. For you other, were in I more mean, of like 
Yeah, the I've been seen stuff too, in so. the bro code stuff more than that. But um, <laughs> yeah, no. But do, wait, we talked about this before, but it still bothers me sometimes when we got recognized at Planet Fitness, mm-hmm. and I like assumed the guy like recognized you from bro code. And he recognized you from the epic show, like yeah, he was like, "Oh yeah, you're the drafter." Like, oh yeah, you're the guy. And I, I was standing right next to him, and he didn't even acknowledge that I was there. Like, like I'm, I'm in the clip too, man. No, you're not. I think it's just something about my presence know. that eats yours. Oh yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's very devouring. It's all the presence it's just devouring anyone else's <laughs> presence around me. So, yeah. but um, uh, I had, I had a guy come up to me. He didn't want me to say his name. He was very drunk. Okay, but um. He said that we help him out. We we help him get through the week, and he loves listening to us. Yeah, that's and awesome. He's our same age, and he's very proud of us. He said that it brought a tear to his eye. Yeah, to see us. That's uh, cool. And um, he he just thinks that it's cool that we're like his same age and we're doing this. Yeah. Um. I he he told me that he either watches us or fishing videos on his oh. breaks. So awesome. I decided to. I found him a poem about fishing. So this goes out to you. It's like one of the, it's on a hat. Yeah. Like really long It's thing. on a really hat, long hat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You ready? Let any fish who meets my gaze learn the true meaning of fear. <laughs> For I am the harbinger of death. The bane of creatures subaqueous. <laughs> my rod is true and unwavering. As I cast into the aquatic abyss, a man, scorned by this uncaring earth, finds solace in the sea, (laughs) my only friend. The worm upon my hook, wriggling, writhing, and struggling to surmount (laughs) the mortal pointlessness that permeates this barren world. I am alone, I am empty, and yet, I fish. (laughs) (laughs) It's so true. Any fisherman. I think you're crying. <laughs> yeah, that's, I can just imagine myself just like casting in the quiet as that's being said. Yeah, as I'm like listening to that <laughs> on repeat. <laughs> and yet, I fish and also listen what? to the Epic Show podcast. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah, podcast and fishing. That's probably well, it's a good. Me. Well, the thing is, is like you had an idea. Of like doing, bringing people fishing and, and doing a podcast and like talking, right? Yeah, like an interview. Yeah, but like then again, it's between like. Between two fish? <laughs> yeah, between two fish. That's a good idea. You're but just like on a dock. But you guys are, I mean, your voices are scaring the fish away. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, it's like, it's the opposite. And also, dude, you know what I used to have? Huh? The, the, the aqua launcher. Yeah, I remember that commercial. You remember that it's fish? Like, the, yeah, it's, it's like, like a gun the out there, and yeah. it shoots it and it. Like it's a bomb, dude. I got it one time, and I was like, oh, "I'm about to slay so many fish with this sh- fish sucks. gun." And dude, you shoot it, and it goes, and it's like oh, it fish launches. Are, yeah, they're like, "Whoa, what is that?" <laughs> oh, oh, it's just a worm, guys. It's all good, dude. No, it's just the loudest there's worm. There's no way time. catching you're catching that fish. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was like expensive. It was like fifty dollars back in the day. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> for like a toy rod. Yeah. But yeah, thanks. Uh, if you guys are ever going through a hard time, or yeah, if yeah. you guys appreciate us, just you can DM me, or um, you can DM the Epic Show oh, yeah. Instagram. We'll respond to, and DMs. we'll always respond to every single thing that you say. If you have yeah. a question about lore or anything like that, I'd happily get you up to yeah. speed. I don't do anything else. So. <laughs> we have a in our Discord. We have a therapy section, so we help. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, if you got you're going through a breakup, you're going through life issues. You know, you need yeah. some advice. So we got that section and we'll talk about it. Maybe if you be in the there's, episode. there's never been anyone more on chronically on the internet than us. Yeah. So chronically online it sucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's the life that we've chosen. Yeah. This is how we live our lives. We live on the internet as well. Yeah. <laughs> so but what else this week? You, an, you said another, another guy you came had somebody up to else, me. Yeah. And he was a very sweet guy from high school. And I would never do this for anyone else. But yeah. he came up to me and he was like, look, man, I just, me and my friend just started making music. We make dance music. I would love if you guys could give us your reaction. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I got you, dude. I'll yeah. scratch your back. <clears throat> so he sent this in. 
His uh, group name is Pending Music Group. And is that like a a political stance? I don't know. Or statement. Or I don't know like if it's. <laughs> I don't know if that's. It's cool. It's kind of edgy because. It's like, yeah, it's like pending. It's like they're on their way. You yeah, know? that's like a good album name. I feel like. I don't know. Yeah, like pen, something pending. I don't know. Appendix music. Group. Appendix, yeah. Appendix poner or appendix. Appendix puncher puncturers. Yeah, that's them. New band. That's them. Uh, he sent me three songs. I figured we could listen to about thirty seconds of each of them. Right. And I told him rating straight three. up that we're gonna give him our honest opinions. Okay. I've not listened to this yet, so here we go. They say they make dance music, okay. which I like, even though I, I can't dance. Or yeah. I don't. I don't even attempt. Sometimes you're just too damn big to be doing stuff. So. <laughs> All right, you ready? This one is okay. called Beast. Beast. Like the bass a lot. This is fire. I like the like, yeah, like yeah, rhythm and bass stuff. It like uh, it feels like a game that you could like surf to. I feel like I'm you know? Sonic. Reg- yeah, like you're running through stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, like Sonic that song Adventure a lot. Two type beat. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I like that. That was pretty good. I yeah. did not expect it to be that good. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> just randomly being like, yeah, you might want to listen to this. I was like expecting like European like pump like fist pump Euro music. Fist pump music. Yeah, yeah. All right, this one, uh, this next one is called Entitled. Okay. You ready? Instrumentation's pretty great. Yeah, I agree. That one, I think I was waiting for something. I was waiting yeah, for I something. Guess it was like, I probably dropped. I was them. definitely waiting for something, and it does drop. I think. Yeah. But we are holding them to thirty seconds. <laughs> but I like his voice. Yeah, it's a good voice. Yeah. And um, the thing is, like, this is just like with people starting out with music. I tend to notice though is most of the lyrics start off with I don't know. Yeah, it's like I don't it's like I don't really wanna or like yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. syllable fillers or like, like But I think that this instrumental is strong and I think that his voice has a lot of uh a lot of potential. Promise. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that one I didn't like that one as much as the first one, but the first one's top the right first now. one's up here. Yeah, beast for me. Is, like I would actually like really yeah, listen I to that. Yeah, I actually will listen to that later. Um, and then this third one is called Poseidon. Ooh. And this is a promising <laughs> name. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I like the oh, music I like a this. lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like that's it good. after it drops. This yeah, is fire. Yeah. yeah, I would definitely listen to that that's as well. Good. Dude, I would get lit if that came on like, oh, in a yeah, club like, or something yeah, like yeah. that. that like, that's, that's what I was thinking. Like I was in like walking in a... Yeah, no, this is actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh, At Pending Music Group. Beast, Poseidon, and then Uh, uh, Entitled. Yeah. But yeah. That's good stuff. Thank you you for for, uh, sending that out. That unreleased. It's Apparently, it's released right now. So Oh, yeah. So if you guys want to check that out. If you go to their Instagram, if that's your vibe, you guys can check that out. Um, At Pending Music Group. Okay. Pending. Pending. Epic Show Approved, for sure. Epic Show Approved, and we'll give you guys a follow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. (laughs) Damn. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what else this week? So we, I mean, in other news, we have a like a recent viral sensation. If we talk, yeah, we do. <laughs> it's been a while since we, we do have a viral sensation. A viral we're s- back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Our dopamine so, yeah. levels were extremely low. Yeah, we were on scraping the bottom of the barrel for dopamine. Like, oh, yeah, like, we were hurting for that. Shaking the end of the barrel for the last drop. Yeah, there was like, and it was like <laughs> slowly oozing. It was like yeah, molasses. It was like, what? It's like we it's could like tell we were like, damn, dude, this is a big barrel and it's all empty. <laughs> like we need a new shipment yeah. stat. But uh that that clip about um the Las Vegas mall people went crazy. Yeah. I think it has over three million views now. Diplo um, saw it and liked Diplo it. Diplo liked it. <laughs> and uh Pink sick. Sweats. Pink Sweats, I didn't know who Great that was, artist, but yeah. he's fine. Yeah. 
I like listen to 10 them. 10 million Spotify listeners. Damn. Right. Yeah. We're getting in front of the rich and famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which is like, we've never conquered reels before. That's like, I don't know. Yeah. It was our first big video on reels, which is sick. Yeah. And so, we needed that. We needed that. We needed that. Because we needed bad. that. We needed that dopamine because it wasn't from TikTok. Like, we've yeah, been yeah. there, done that on TikTok. But <laughs> so reels is a new front. It's reels. a new, yeah. It's a new. Um, Next, Facebook reels. Or no. Facebook uh, reels. Snapchat. Snapchat. <laughs> Dude, no. They make so much money. Vimeo videos. I would. Vimeo. I would. Whoever paid me Veals. Money. Veals. <laughs> if they call them veals. Ew. Like baby cows. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked. Guys, hop on Vimeo, please. <laughs> please download Vimeo, you guys. Yeah, We're exclusive. We're exclusive on Vimeo. <laughs> please support us in the <laughs> veals. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so do you want to get into this? I have a new game. Room? Yeah. I have a new game new for segment us to play. Alert. New segment. It's called This or That. This or that. So it's just two things. Two random things that I think of. Two nouns. That I think would be kind of hard to live without or to live without both yeah. of these things. And you can only have one. You have to choose out of the two things that I give you, one to stay and one to be eviscerated from history. <laughs> it never have, has existed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. First one, we're going to start off with... Uh, Bed frames or hoodies? I don't even have a bed frame now, to be honest. Yeah, you do. No. I've been in your oh, bed. Oh, a bed frame? Like, yeah. I, even I have a bed frame, that metal stand. It's either all mattresses are on the floor. Oh, okay. I was thinking of headboards. Nope. Never mind. Nope. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that is included. There wouldn't be any headboards either. Yeah, okay. But um, <laughs> all bed frames are on the, all bed, all mattresses are on the floor or ah. or all hoodies are gone forever. No, nah, I need hoodies for sure. Especially like, I don't know. I think I'd be a different person today if I didn't have hoodies growing up. Oh. Because, <laughs> dude. Why do you say that? Hoodies got me through school. I was like pudgy kid. Grow like The hoodie like saved me. The hoodies, bro, I can tell you right now, the hoodies are my go-to. They're, yeah. they're extremely flattering to your figure. Oh, yeah, yeah. If it's bad. If you have a bad Oversized figure. hoodies or. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. As two, as two guys, as an, as as an ex out of shape man and as an out of shape man, <laughs> we're I'm going hoodies all day. Yeah, yeah My mattress has been on the floor by choice as before. Yeah. So it's not the. It's I not know bad. it's a dark time though. It's, yeah, it's depressing I mean, as fuck. If you walk into somebody's house and, and you're like mattress on the floor, you're like, jeez. You like you just moved in? Nope. Yeah, I mean, it's been about two years. Nope. I'm just uh, getting in line with my chi, my chakras. Yeah. If you want to do yoga, I mean, yeah, with me. By the way, do you have any money? <laughs> yeah. By the way, do you have money? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. So pretty a sweep a sweep for the hoodies on on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, hoodies for sure. We're gonna have to go air conditioning or seasoning on food. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no air conditioning in the car in the house. Nothing. <laughs> Or is all your food bland? <laughs> well, growing up as a white man. Oh, God. <laughs> you know. Y'all use salt and pepper. Uh, sometimes. Don't. don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, man. That's you know, so I, there's fans. Yeah, that just circulate hot air. <laughs> have you ever just turned? Have you ever <laughs> been in that situation where you have to like? The summer is gonna oh, suck. Oh God, we have to relocate. We can't well, live like in Georgia food? anymore. What food is good without seasoning? <laughs> bread. <laughs> I mean, honestly, uh, the best bread it like has salt in it. Oh. Yeah, that's true. That's like a good core ingredient to like I everything. Think. Yeah. Oh my God. I'd probably just have to eat like a fruit guy, I guess. Yeah, you'd have to go after the natural oh. hit. Air conditioning? I, I, you got to so pick bad. air conditioning. <laughs> like, <laughs> Unfortunately. Dude, like driving would suck. No, it'd be so bad. Like in the summer, it'd your car so is just bad. soaking in, in, like, in the sun. In the sun and you, and you get in no and relief. It's, it's in 800 degrees in your car. And, yeah. And you drive a black car. So <laughs> like it like holds the the heat. Uh, you oh, could like dude. you couldn't plug like a fan in, you know. No, and you then like whenever like 40, you're like Disney like 
little tiny fans. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, uh, like whenever your your seatbelt, the metal part gets like super oh, hot yeah. and it burns you. <laughs> like, that you couldn't you couldn't turn on the air no and have relief. that subside. Yeah, yeah, no relief. Windows oh, down. You would have to. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm picking air conditioning all day. There's, it's not <laughs> even close, bro. Yeah, definitely. I'll eat chicken and dumplings. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't care. What would I even eat? <laughs> Oh man! I don't know because meat would strawberries. meat would be worse because yeah. you can't season the meat. Oh man! It would just have to be like a you would just have to go vegan. Yeah. <laughs> white white people be like, oh, bro, this one's easy. Don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Herbalists be like, <laughs> you ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. Pizza or public parking? <laughs> Whoa. Either you never get to have pizza again in any form, or you got to pay every time you park somewhere. How, uh, including your house. I feel like I've, I've never in Atlanta, like you always are paying to park. Does yeah. that count as public parking or is that? No, that's, that's uh private parking. So, so if I go to the if you grocery, have to pay, it's private. If I go to the grocery store, I'm paying to park. Oh, grocery. yep. What? Movie theaters, movie like, theaters, and um, diners. Oh, re- any restaurant, anywhere. Anytime your your car is in park, you're paying for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's not like on a meter system or anything. Yeah, I mean, those exist as well. What, but <laughs> what if like um, you're like with your family or your like wife, and you're mm-hmm. like, okay, honey, just drive around in circles. I'll be out of here in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Honestly, that might be a thing. <laughs> just don't put the car in you park. You have to adapt. <laughs> I can't afford that 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Or pizza's gone, dude. I mean. Pizza would help you cope with the financial downfall yeah. of, of having to pay, pay to park oh. everywhere. Honestly, like, I got to pick public parking. <laughs> I, I got to be able to park like I, what I have, I have to be able to I park, park like multiple times a day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I every eat time pizza you... like once, you know, like mm-hmm. by every three weeks or something like or a month. You know what would be fun? <laughs> you know what would be fun is uh, at the gas station. Like you wouldn't have to pay to go fill your car up, but that'd be like the only place that you could park for free. Yeah, so yeah. like you, somebody's just like hogging, the, like yeah, is like not even filling up their just car. They're just parking there. there. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> dude, my car's out of gas. Please, bro. <laughs> oh, man. oh god, that's a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. I got some as well. Do you have more? You have yeah, more yeah, I've got more, but yeah, I want to okay. hear you on yours. I had one with air conditioning, but I won't do that. Oh one. yeah, no. <laughs> let me see. Okay. Basketball mm. or potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> French fries, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, hash browns. Or basketball. Or just, Dude, like half of the YouTube I watch is basketball really? related. So, <laughs> Well, basketball is on, you know, the NBA is only around for, you know, a season. Yeah. but and, bas- like, you don't play basketball that often. I don't play basketball. <laughs> I mean, dude, I have to It would have never existed. Michael Jordan... Dude, think of the Michael Jordan would have never existed. Jordans would have never existed, just because of that style. That affects yeah. Like, that's that actually affects culture. World culture. That's was such a huge part oh, of our culture. Honestly, wow. I would have never broken my wrist. Do I care more about what the street is wearing, or do I care more about my cuisine? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. I mean, it sucks because. The first, actually, the first, the first hoop, I believe, was a potato basket. What? Yeah, I believe the Naismith. Can you fact check that? Yeah, someone needs. Can you Somebody look that up? That yeah. Was how would you even look that up? But like, what was the first? What was the first basketball basket? First basketball basket made out of. Um. Okay. Oh, made out what of what was yeah. the hoop made out of? Yeah, yeah. Um, the basketball hoop, the evolution of the basketball hoop. Where did it start out at? Yeah, it's, oh, it's like a that's a potato first, basket. 
Oh, a peach basket. Oh, it's a peach basket. Close. Okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, so we're good. All right, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, then we're going potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> You're picking potatoes over basketball? Oh, yeah. I guess bro, so. potatoes, bro, well, I guess not everyone, bro, potatoes are how people make their living. I, I think mean, you wouldn't even be here if potatoes weren't real. That's facts. The Irish. Oh, that's so <laughs> true. Dude, yeah, no. Dude. Oh, and not only, bro, like, Vodka is made with potatoes, right? Or, oh, isn't or like tequila, something. One of those liquors is made out of like potato. Whiskey? I don't know. Uh, I'm not a drinker. I think you're thinking of like wheat. Now, look it up. <laughs> that would no, be a good one. Wheat is red. Basketball or wheat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what am I looking up? Alcohol, wheat? potatoes and alcohol. Like, what alcohol is made of potatoes? I feel like this is probably a lot. Aside from being abundant, potatoes high in stuff. Okay. Oh, it's converted into sugar to ferment alcohol. Oh, yeah, dude. We got to pick. Oh, yeah. So that's like alcohol. I think it's like a potato is like an Oh, vodka, vodka. Yeah, yeah it's vodka. Okay. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Am I going to take vodka away from the entire world or am I going to take oh, so you're thinking the of NBA other people? away? Yeah. I'm okay. I was just thinking of like your inter interpersonal no. life. I mean, the potato is more important than basketball. Let's be honest here. But you're, but think of this, like they're not going to know. It's like to have ever existed. So it's not like people are like, ah, oh, man, I can't eat. We have soccer. Where's my potatoes? We have soccer. I don't play soccer. <laughs> basketball. You don't my play basketball sport. either. Well, I like watching basketball. Okay, yes. Yeah, on Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, inter like, Get think about here, the culture, man. though. Get the basketball is culture. No, it's <laughs> the potatoes culture. You don't know anything about culture. You've never experienced it. Okay. Give me another one. Let's. <laughs> The house pet <laughs> or airplanes? Oh, you're <laughs> dogs, cats, oh, lizards, the house rodents, pet? just any house pet. So or no, the oh aeroplane. God, nobody can. Nobody can ever have travel. a pet. <laughs> or nobody can fly in an airplane. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I mean, me personally, I'd rather have the. The pet. But you have to think about the world. But yeah, point. like think of all the things that function because you of being flown. You could have stopped 9 11. <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah, that would have never happened. But yeah. then we're. But Except for Building 7 that was clearly demol demolished with TNT. Like, oh man, but then the airport. Oh, then the guy I can't, who likes. The guy I can't. who <laughs> thinks uh, airport security is fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but I won't have to put my iPhone through the. Then I can't go buy a thirteen dollar beer at four in the morning oh, at the man. airport. Then those big guys won't touch my cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's more important? I feel like you need we need a human dopamine. You think of all the thing that's shipped over from China. That's made, like we yeah. don't need any of that shit. Yeah, we do. We're so reliant on China for goods. And how is it going to get here? I think they're called bads. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're. We're reliant. Nutty, you'd be naked. Man. We're reliant on. We're reliant on pets for our dopamine, bro. I think every 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 house doesn't really have a, a little an emotional rat. need versus a like, uh, physical need. No, bro. They could still ship stuff over the sea. They could still use the sea. Oh, shipping oh, would boats? be shipping would be much. Oh, I guess longer, we still have boats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We would still yeah, have boats. Do, yeah. So the next time you try to Amazon something. It's really well, I guess being Amazon's shipped from here. So. It's really being shipped. Okay, we could we could still okay we could still travel. Mm -hmm. Boats would just be really like they'd put a lot more effort into boats. Yeah, <laughs> we'd probably be like okay. we'd probably be like a hundred years. We could ahead bring like the railroad technology. system back. <laughs> yeah, it works. Okay, for I'll a while. pick a house Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. fuck Daryl. Probably kill myself. If it, you know, I didn't have pets. Yeah, like, it'd be sad if I didn't have roots. <laughs> yeah, come on. I'd be real sad. Well, yeah, okay. You got another one? We, I had one with the... Uh, I'll just say mine just as a okay. bonus to the airplanes because okay. I had shoes or airplanes. Oh. <laughs> shoes like, or airplanes? They count like sandals, uh, you any have type to of footwear. Shoe. You have to pick shoe, I think. Probably. Even... You'd what have you to mean be bare probably? <laughs> <laughs> because if you picked airplanes, then your, then your toes would get cold on the airplane. Just like trying to walk outside, to like, ooh, ah, ooh. yeah, no. Have you ever walked on gravel? It's it sucks. brutal. But no, but like, we'd evolve. We basically have skin as shoes because our 
It'd be so it would tough. evolve so much. Yeah, you're right. And the, then the the mas- the, really the foot massage industry would be a billion dollar industry. There'd be a I foot massage know how you place. Would, you have the, they'd all be so strong. Oh yeah, you'd they'd have to be, be jacked. Like, you're like, what's your benchmarks? For like the job interview for the <laughs> yeah, exactly. <food? laughs> like, uh, Our feet became so calloused. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so many layers to like push through. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to get in there with a jackhammer. <laughs> with a jackhammer with like a hand like on the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, just like, <laughs> it's like a fake hand. It's like the paint's like worn off. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, That's a good one. Um, I got one more. Okay. And this one's pretty hard. The guitar or movies? Oh. So really, like, a lot of... Well, I think piano is the more essential instrument. Okay, snooty ass. Actually, the piano is the uh, more essential. But... No guitar, no rock and roll. Mm. You're taking out like, bro, we wouldn't be born if there weren't for rock and roll. I know that. <laughs> or at least I would. Oh, you think rock and roll inspired like the baby boomers or something? Oh, rock and roll was, yeah, they had sex to it. Yeah. Oh, so dude. many kids were Gen Z's here because <laughs> of rock and roll. We're here because of Kiss. And then, uh, yeah, and Metallica. And then we hate, and then now we hate it yeah. for some reason. Because we're yeah. Because that's the reason. We were, that's the reason why we're suffering now. Because we heard it in the womb. And we're like, yeah. Turn the shit off, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to listen to dubstep right now. Yeah, I'm trying to listen to Skrillex. <laughs> oh man, no, but, like, I, I'm no guitars, movies. no guitars in the movie soundtrack. Well, think about mu- movies impacted culture. Well, the think guitar, of the music, music was the guitar is just as equally, dude. I think that that one instrument is just as important to the world than every movie ever made. Oh really? Tell that to cars too. <laughs> you. No, but what well, like think of all the, the instrument there's so much music without a guitar for years. There is Bach. other there is other music, but also there is other forms of entertainment like TV. Well, movies. Yeah. The, the Star Wars, the Avengers. I would also pick movies. But. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it's tough. You have to kiss, like, most of every song ever goodbye. Nah. Piano. We can't just replace <laughs> it with the piano. <laughs> if anything, it would have to be, oh, go to banjo. Well, think of the, everything is made on a piano anyway now. Like, keep they just use MIDI keyboards and play guitars yeah, on I the piano. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Yeah. I hate the digital age. of like John Mayer at McDonald's now. <laughs> working at McDonald's. John Mayer in working this, at McDonald's. In this multiverse. Yeah, he would be. <laughs> Um, no, you got to pick movies, man. I could live without E, e minor, major, whatever. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> whatever. Uh, well, let me think. I had a, one more you, one? you didn't pick. Um. Well, you already you already used hoodies, but I had restaurants or jackets. <laughs> <laughs> jackets. Yeah. Yeah, jackets. Well, that's fast food as well. There's fuck no, that, bro. I'll cook at home. And I wear a jacket. I guess it would be better. But then I wouldn't have places as many places to wear the jacket. <laughs> yeah. So where are you gonna show off the fits? Fuck off. The mall. Guess, it would probably the be... mall, bro. I'll go back to the mall. <laughs> We'd all like be in better shape because we wouldn't have. If fast there were no food restaurants, and, yeah, and like the U.S. That's probably better off. The U.S. government food that's being pumped out at us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pesticides. Um. I have another brain buster for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, tell me about this. This is actually insane. Gay Buster. That's what it called. What if I told you that no one on earth knows how electric eels reproduce? What are you talking about? So this I've looked into this so hard, bro. <laughs> At the end of eels, um the eels have a reproduction cycle, okay? And no matter where they are in the world, they all swim to the Bermuda Triangle, okay. right? Yeah. And we've tried to put cameras on them, and we've tried <laughs> to follow them in, but we can't. It's the Bermuda Triangle. And it's during the monsoon season. So there's there's no way of, like, tracking them down there and watching it. You'll die. What's the monsoon season? The monsoon season and, tri- and the Bermuda Triangle. Okay. That's it's when like, it's like... 
that's when it's the water. The pirate ships The water disappear. is absolute roughest. Okay. It's like so nobody's going near that. No, it's storms. Like yeah, like no one would live. Yeah. And um, oh my God. they're hiding something. No, they're there. hiding something. And um, it you could take an eel out of the water and put it into a bucket, right? Mm -hmm. And whenever that time came to reproduce, they would swim in the direction of the Bermuda Triangle what? in the bucket. They have no something way. They have an in internal them. compass. Yes, they do. And it's weird. Like uh, scientists, like it goes way back, bro. Like people thought they used to be bo born out of the mud. People thought they used to be, people thought they were born from the rain. Like, um, <laughs> and, uh, it really they, is like a mythological creature. If honestly, you think about it. bro, it's like the only, it's like the only, um, sorry. It's like the only animal that has a superpower. Yeah. Like electric, like, <laughs> like you what? just use electric shock and you live in the water. Yeah. That's, that's your counter it's like element. A Pokemon in that's, real life. It's a literal <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. But, um, they, uh, what if like Atlantis is down there and it's just like, my it's, theory, you want to hear my theory? Well, yeah. I think that there's an alien base at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle, and ever so, uh, uh, however many years ha goes by, the eels act as like information sponges and agents for the aliens. And then they come back, okay. reproduce down there, and the aliens like withdraw the information from their brains. Oh, it's like about the like, what's been going on in, on, in the world. They're like, okay, plug that into the database. It's so obvious. But why wouldn't they want the information to be on the land? Like, what are they trying to scour in the ocean? <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe they're just trying they to think, see. They maybe think they're the just, world is just the ocean. They're like, eh. maybe, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Man. Maybe they're just trying to see how far our boats and yachts have come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, like so advanced, except in the boat. Field, yeah, so. they're like, we got to look okay, at this stuff. We, we figured out how to safely uh, get from across dimensions <laughs> into the, the earth. So now we got to gotta figure out how to make a rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. But like, yeah, you can you guys can look it up. It's like unknown. So nobody's ever the, seen eels. No, fuck. not one. <laughs> Is that not so weird? <laughs> There's something up to that. Yeah. Well, it's it, like it shouldn't make sense. Like that shouldn't be a thing. But it's the only mammal. It is literally the only mammal that we don't know how it reproduces. Or I don't know if it's a mammal. It's the only animal that we don't know how it reproduces. Maybe they have like self reproduce. I don't know. Has it? What, what happens to the people who like capture eels? The people that have eels like at they aquariums and stuff, they die and they have to go get other ones, bro. Even if it's a male or female. What? Because they will not reproduce unless they're in the Bermuda Triangle. I have a uh, Georgia Aquarium pass. So we got to go see. I'm gonna, we, we can go. Yeah. And we can ask them about this. If and, it's and during the filming, if it's during the reproduction cycle, we will see them trying to swim. We got to film. Yeah, yeah. We got to see that. When it, what is that? I don't even when know if it? the aquarium has electric eels. They do. Yeah. They do. Okay. Fire. I don't know if they're electric, but no, I just assume that they're all. They might be related. I don't know. An eelist, I guess. <laughs> I'm an e-list celebrity. <laughs> e-list. <laughs> I'm actually a eel celebrity. Yeah. I'm very well known in the eel community. If you might have heard of me. Wow, that's that's crazy though. Well, there's something. What if like the under the Bermuda Triangle is just yeah like a whole city of like, like the Greek gods. Yeah, what, there what they've been talking Zeus about for just years. like zaps yeah. the eels. Like, yeah, be free. <laughs> yeah, it's like just gone. <laughs> Come back in 10 years with more information. Be an enigma to, to the world. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Live in defiance of them and their laws. <laughs> Defy the water physics. Like, why does no one ask that? Like, why does no one ask the, why they use electricity and they live in water? Yeah. I thought we couldn't even bring toasters that in water. damn vaccine. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite uh, meme is me. It's like this guy, like, fighting everyone and, like, it's like a photoshopped like picture of a car battery in its hand. It's like me fighting the U.S. government to go dump, to go dump <laughs> my car battery into the ocean, and then like in parentheses is like, how do you think it? How do you think the electric eels get recharged? 
<laughs> yeah, maybe that's just that guy single handedly. Yeah, they go created down eels. They were just snakes. And then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they got. <laughs> I gotta so research funny. this. Yeah. Chris, <laughs> this is a cook the bum fact oh, as well. So, yeah. Uh, I believe what he says. <laughs> and I've also done my Damn. own. There's YouTube videos about it as well. It's like, like that we don't know how. You're just on like Google, like using your voice to the thing, and you're like, top 10 eel facts. And you're like, uh, eels, Bermuda Triangle Theory. <laughs> I have a tiny mic. Eels having sex, HD. 4K. <laughs> no, but everything, yeah. everything, like, they've tried to, like, give some fake bullshit story about how they do, but it's, it's They're been disproven. Something. It's been disproven. And it's not oh scientific. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Somebody in the comments... That's on TikTok and just be like, actually, my grandfather is an eel farmer. This is cop. <laughs> cop. Yeah, there's a lot of people who don't believe in yeah. it. The people are like, you had me until they never saw the light of day. Well, <laughs> people that just means that they're born down there. We didn't get to like explain everything because like people were asking, like, how do they eat? Like, this is. I bet you'll go watch the video. Yeah. And they're like, uh, never seen the light of day. Like, how do they get down there? But we were like, Whatever. People in the depths of the air are reproducing. Anyway. People have small minds. Okay, so we... Yeah, so that was it. We're bringing back... A, this is the first draft of this. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, we did draft... Studio, right? No, we did a, the women draft for a Women's History oh, yeah. Month. Fire. Uh, so we're going to do... You've heard of the fast food draft. But have you heard of the fast food french fry draft? Let's make it more niche. Let's niche it down. So, yeah. Fries from... Fast food eateries. I think I went first last time. Draft. So. Draft. Yeah. Low light edition. And since you went first last time, I'm going to have to make you rue your life because I'm okay. picking the absolute best fries that a lot of people don't know about. The Taco Bell fries are insane. You're so picking a thing that has like not even so been around for like... <laughs> it's been tested and it's tried and it's true. What do you even... What even is in this? Is it fry? It's fry, and then it's se- they're orange, and orange? They're, and they're seasoned, and they and they give you cheese to dip them. They're the best cheese. fries. They're the best fast food fries. Oh man, I can't, I can't post that. <laughs> yeah, you All can. right, well, Lola I mean, says you can. Lola's chosen. Yeah, so let me just counter Taco Bell fries with Chick Fil A fries. <laughs> oh, the most boring fry what do you, you mean? can get. This is the most reliable, it's boring, fry. soggy, and recently they've been giving you the little, the the tiny bits, like not even the full fry. They used to give I you the big full what, fry, and it was crispy. Well, maybe if you don't go at nine forty five p.m. You might get a full fry, man. Don't talk to me about my habits. <laughs> <laughs> and they have good sauce too, Chick Fil A sauce. Okay. And I'm about to bury you right here. Another unforeseen pick. The wing stop fry. Oh, okay. I had that. No. It's actually amazing. It's, so it's like good. sugar. Bro, fries. there's sugar on the fry. It's like, good though. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. The fry season and they is have amazing. So many varieties. And you get the ranch. The ranch, bro. Yes, yes. Whatever, whoever's okay. nutting in that ranch, keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> Who's ever creaming? Yeah. <laughs> you need to hire your semen guy. Yeah. For, Give him a raise. We need him over here. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, you got to go the McDonald's fry. I agree. Number two, like, I come agree. on. Yeah, I had those the other go. day. Did they hit? Bust down Balenciaga style. Bust down, busting out of a penis like Jason Cum. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, bust down for a real one. You've painted the picture. Yeah, it's that's what it was. <laughs> they're like. fire. They're yeah. fire. And, they're, <laughs> and those are tried and true as well. Yeah, it's like you, you're not going to, like... It could use a little salt here and there, but I mean, but you can ask for that. So. That's a fixable problem. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> that's fixable. Um, my number three, I'm gonna have to go checkers fry. Oh, if it's I don't good, think you've at, had the checkers fry. You haven't? No. If it's if they sell it at the grocery store as its own product. Oh yeah, that's they. I have seen. It's it good. good. Okay. <laughs> so, and that is ooh, dude. It's like. Is it like a crinkle fry or is it just a regular? No, it's like overly fried fries. And some of them are kind of like together sometimes. 
I don't know how to explain it, but some of they're, they're just good. mush together. They're mush. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Top tier though. There's still a lot of good picks on the line here. I'm gonna have to, okay. I'm gonna have to go five guys fries. Oh, yeah. No. The Cajun fries for sure. No. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. And it's honestly, and you get a lot of them for you the regular. Get a ton of them, and it's the only fry, in my opinion, that is best in ketchup. I okay. think that those are the best in ketchup for some reason. I'm not a ketchup. Guy. And they're so fresh. They're so fresh, bro. Those. Yeah, yeah. Those they, are they like make them fresh. in front of you. Yeah, yeah. You're not getting no schnubs for those. Uh, <laughs> my number four. I'm gonna have to go with the crinkle fry, but I'm gonna have to go with. Whenever Zaxby's is hitting Zaxby's crinkle fry with the seasoning. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. They do have some solid seasoning. And then you dip fry. it in the Zax sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to one up you here. I'm actually one upping you like really hard. Okay. Cane's fry. No. But only because of the sauce. Only because. No, no. Okay. Yeah. I did incorporate my sauce. Yeah, so you so get to as well. Z- but I think Cane's sauce is better than Zax sauce, first of all. I agree. I agree. So. Hardcore. But I do think that those kind of nullify each other out. Yeah, they kind of do like they do. But Cane's is way more consistent, and but Zaxby's is thicker. The fries, the fry is thicker. You kind of have to get like three at once for Cane's. Yeah, do that. And then the sauce is on your fingers, but that's not a bad thing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you lick them off the phalanges, and you're good. Uh, Is that your? I have one more. Okay. And. Gonna have to go ahead and take this off the board. I think we all saw this coming. What? Arby's curly oh, like, fry. God, yeah. Dude, those things. Yeah, yeah, that, is, that, that, that is honestly the item that has kept that establishment in business. Yeah, for, yeah they're carried by their for fry years. for sure. That's like the one thing that's for many like a not, decade. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big curly fry guy, but I mean, we'll give uh, Arby's credit. You gotta give it due. credit. They go hard on that. So. They do it well. <laughs> if the, yeah, for if anyone's getting credit for the curly fry, it's Arby's. Thank you. And now um, you got to finish it off. I'm going to give it underrated fry. I think the Culver's fry is actually pretty great. It's a solid guy. It's like salted well usually. It's like puffy. It's yeah. not greasy. It's not really greasy. No, I agree. <laughs> it, there's no sauce, which sucks. That's the, that's the thing with Culver's is there's no yeah, sauce. Yeah, there's no sauce. There's no yeah. sauce X factor. Yeah, like if would, Culver's, Culver's could had be a sauce up there. Oh, dude, all that was good in all their food. Yeah, I think that. I mean, it would have contender for number, the number one spot. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> if yeah, if, if you had a, a can, like a cane sauce with Culver, that's like the ultimate combo. Yeah, yeah the quality of Culver's is it's is a good nuts. quality uh, crinkle. Mm. Well, quality crinkle. Draft. I uh, think I won for sure. But. Yeah, I, I have Chick Fil A and McDonald's, dude. Yeah, we're not the talking two about top two full picks. establishments. You picked Taco Bell number one. Yeah, you're and, if, and the real ones know. And the real ones that. know. The real ones know. Yeah, well, the real ones are mentally ill. Thank you guys you for catching. You actually get a free BetterHelp subscription if you... Uh, for, yeah, I'm on my third week. If you've had the yeah, Taco Bell. I'm right. on my third week. And they yeah. also give you... um, They also give you blood pressure medicine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if, you, if your grandpa needs that, you just... Taco Bell fry and you're it's good It's actually to go. me. <laughs> Thank you guys oh, yeah. for tuning in. Thank you guys for to watching. The Epic yeah. Show. Well, give, podcast. Give us, be in contact with us. We'll respond to you. We, we need some attention. I uh, need attention need some... bad. I crave it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we want to interact with you guys more on the Discord, uh, Instagram. Let us know what you're, you're thinking, what's on your mind, and your problems, your concerns. Um, so, yeah, new episodes every Monday at 5 a.m. And uh, make sure you five star if you're listening on uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google. Those muchly. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. And do your next fucking week. squats. I, you guys are not squatting enough. And really Every shows. single bench is always full. And the squat machines <laughs> the squat are rack is laying wide open, rot. And you're just uh, you're just waiting there watching TikTok, waiting for the bench, and you could be squatting. What's wrong with you? It makes me fucking sick to my <laughs> stomach, honestly. Get in the gym, man. <laughs> I'm out of here. See ya.